Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to show you start to finish how to package and how to create these beautiful sunflower car decals. I'm using some different vinyl here, so I'm going to talk to you about this. This is my favorite one. This is a holographic color. I really love it. came from a different company, so I'm going to talk to you about that in the video. I'm going to tell you also how to make these car decal instructions to go in it, where you can find your packaging from, everything you need to know to make money. Like I said, these are my numbers number one sellers are my car decals. I love teaching you guys how to make money. If you have a Cricut and you have time, I would suggest making a ton of these, finding some stores to sell in, sell on Facebook Marketplace. It is a huge, huge money maker. So I love telling you guys how to make money with your crafts. This is definitely it. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned until the end and I'm gonna show you guys how to create these. So let's get started. So starting in Design Space, I'm going to go to the image button up here and I'm going to search uh, Sunflower. Sunflowers seem to be the big hit right now, so I'm going to search and see what I can find in here. Some of these I uploaded from purchasing from Design Bundles. Some of them are free from uh, Cricut Design Space because I have the yearly subscription, which really comes in handy when you're trying to find something. So I'm just looking for a few uh, sunflowers here. So I'm going to grab just a few of them that I think might look really cool as a car decal. So I'm just going to grab just a couple of them really quick. And I'm looking for basically black and white ones that are like one or two dimensional. So we're going to just see, scroll down and see if there's any more. See, you can see it says subscribed right here. That's because I have the yearly subscription. So if you don't have that or you don't pay for the monthly subscription, you can always go into Google and find them that way. I'm just searching on here uh, just to find some easy ones on here. Um, but you can easily search in Google and try to find some or you can buy them on, you know, Design Space or I'm sorry, Design Bundles, uh, which they have a bunch there too. But I'm just looking for some free ones. That one looks pretty too. So I'm just going to start with these. I'm going to go to add to canvas and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them. But these car decals are my number one sellers. They are going crazy and I've been doing quite a few videos on these. So if you're interested in any other ones, please go back and check my channel. I have a lot more car decal videos. So I'm going to take it and just shrink them up a little bit so we can see what each one looks like. They are very pretty. You have to think though, when you're going to be weeding all this out, you need to think of these little tiny spots in here and figure out how big you want to do it. So with these, I already see on the side here that they're all welded together. So you can't change. I was hoping I could go in and change the color of the, the actually the petals to a yellow color and then turn this into black. But you can see it's all connected here. You could go to the contour button and do all that and make a duplicate, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. This one is not really catching my fancy. I'm not really caring about it too much, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. That's why it's kind of nice just to pick a few of them that you like, and then you kind of stick with the ones that really look nice to you. So for these, I think I'm going to do something a little bit different. Instead of just using regular vinyl, I think I'm going to actually cut out in holographic vinyl, which would look really pretty with these flowers. I have several different colors of the holographic, so you're gonna have to stay tuned to see which colors I choose. So the only thing I really wanna do is change the size. So I don't go up here to unlock anymore. That just seems to skew my, my designs if I do like a five by five. So I'm gonna go to the width and I'm gonna type in five and then I'm gonna hit the tab button. And that's automatically gonna adjust the uh, height for me. If I do five by five, it's gonna be skewed a little bit. So I kind of learned that the hard way. So I'm just gonna leave it locked. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Go up here to the width, type in five, hit tab and then it will automatically change the height for me. Do that with this last one here, and you by all means do not have to do five by whatever. Um, that just seems to be the really good hit for me is between five and eight uh, wide. So I'm gonna do these at, actually, you know what? I'm gonna change this to six, just to give them a little bit bigger to look nicer on the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and change all these to six, and then I'm just gonna change the color on it. So just like that. Wow, these are beautiful. So all these, they're almost the same. They're like five by 
5.771, and then this one's 5.952, and then this one's 5.029. Um, but like I said, you can get these in design bundles. You can buy them on Etsy. You can go to Google and search it and clean them up yourself. Um, but I have the yearly subscription, so I figured I just would use this. I wish I was able to go in here and put black in here behind it, but I'm just going to leave it alone. So actually, I'm going to be using a couple different colors of the holographic vinyl. So I'm going to leave this one this red color, this one this black color, and then this last one I'm going to change this to a miscellaneous color. We'll do green. I'm not going to do it green, but just when it cuts out, my Cricut will know that I'm going to be using three different colors. So basically, that's all that you have to do. You go to make it. It's going to show me the colors on the side and make sure that they look okay to me which it's perfect. I love the size. I think that's really nice, uh, big size for these. Uh, normally I do five by five or so, um, but these flowers just look a little bit better. And I think it would be easier to go in here and weed. Um, I might have a little bit issues of weeding this part out, the black part out. So I guess we'll see how it cuts out and I'll show you guys. So I'm going to go to continue and then it's going to ask me which setting I like to use. And there's a specific one that I like to use every time when I'm using a holographic vinyl. And I like to use the stencil vinyl right here. So I have this stencil vinyl, the premium vinyl, and then the washi sheet are my three go-tos. Um, you can also use holographic vinyl here if you want to. Kind of, you don't always have to go off of what I'm doing. I'm just suggesting your vinyl might be different than mine. It might be a different brand, so it might be a little bit thicker or a little bit thinner than mine. So you always have to see and maybe even do a practice cut to see if it cuts all the way through because I don't want you to get upset with me if you, if you use stencil vinyl. It doesn't work for you, but when I'm using little tiny intricate cuts on here, I always go to the stencil vinyl and then sometimes I even go to the pressure up here and then just click more so that it just gives a more of a cut through. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my colors. Again, I'm using holographic. I will weed this out and then I'll show you guys what it looks like and then how to package these to sell them. All right, guys. So I said this was going to be really difficult to weed out. It actually is not. So I'm going to show you really quick what I use. So I started it on here, and this is the holographic vinyl that I was talking about. This is from Tech Wrap Vinyl. It is absolutely amazing. And if you're also interested, they have these weeders there as well. These work really, really well at getting the small little pieces out. But I wanted to show you really quick how easy actually this is to weed this out. So you just take your pen, and it's not going to cooperate. And then I also have this green thing here where you just put your scraps in just like that. So just a couple ideas for you guys if you're interested, but this is really easy to weed out. You just take your pen and then you can scrape it and put it right in here, and then you have no mess. Actually, I didn't stick it down yet. You have no mess once you're done. So you just take it and then put it in here. So just a quick tip if you guys are interested, this was really simple to weed out. Um, this is the Tech Wrap Vinyl. I absolutely love this. It's holographic. I use it all the time. I highly recommend it. I'll leave the link in the description below in case you're interested. And also the weeding pen that they have as well. I've never seen this, never used one before. Um, but I thought it was pretty cool. Thanks a lot. My husband's being silly with the camera So if you're interested they have a couple of things that you can get there as well. They have the um, The pen they also have some tweezers and then they also have a really nice Scraper that I love using as well and it comes in this really cool bag So just a quick tip for you guys I'm going to continue to keep going and then I'm going to show you how to package these up All right guys, so I finished weeding these out I really love how they turn out a lot easier than I thought it was going to be so here's the holographic one and here's a yellow one and then here's another one but this one's just a little bit smaller i really love how these turn out i can't wait to see how they look on a car um, but like i said these are my number one sellers are my decals so i'm just going to keep going and cranking them out and showing you guys how to create them and how to do it step by step so i'm going to take my first one take a thing of transfer tape i love this transfer tape if i wasn't using it for this i would just reuse it over and over again so i'm using it for this so a trick that i have for you is flip your transfer tape upside down Kind of work upside down if that makes sense so this is the sticky side now you can see what you're doing you can put this down on here and then we're going to trim it up later anyway but now you can see where it's going to go and you're not going to have to worry about wasting anything or having any wrinkles in it it's just going to lay flat on here so i'm just going to take the next one and lay that one down and then i can save this transfer tape that's down here Go to the last one here. 
and lay that one down and then go ahead and cut your transfer tape and I will show you kind of what it looks like because I can't flip it yet so I'm going to take my extra transfer tape right here because I like reusing this stuff and I'll cut the excess off really quick. So I'll put this to the side. This stuff lasts forever, so it'll go a really long way. Then I'm just gonna trim around these. And instead of using a scissors to make a nice straight line, which is kind of hard to do, I can show you what it looks like now, is I take a paper cutter like this, and then I'll go in here and put it down and I flipped it upside down because this is the sticky side I don't want the sticky side to go on the paper cutter it'll make it more difficult I can actually see the file here so I can see how far I'm going off and then you just take this and slide it it's so easy I love this and then you have a nice straight cut here so I'm going to continue to do that for the rest of the edges So there, so now we have nice straight line on each side. So it looks nice now, so you can see it. So I'm gonna show you the next part you're gonna wanna do. So you're not gonna wanna bag this right away. You're gonna wanna take your scraper and you're gonna wanna scrape your transfer tape on there really, really well so that when the person gets it, they can just peel it off and they won't have to worry about doing this. Then I always double check here and I make sure that the, it is actually on the transfer tape as it is. You just wanna take the edge and go off again. Then I bought these bags on Amazon and they are amazing. I love them. They're just clear bags and it has a sticky part on the top that you can just close it easily. So I take my, my design and I put it in backwards so that the tape part is on the back. And then I also have these car decal instructions. Um, this will tell people how to apply it and how to clean their window and all that stuff. Most people don't know, so I always leave this in there with it. And I just got this off of Google. Um, I just found it for free, printed a whole bunch off. I used my paper cutter again and I cut a whole bunch of them to get the nice straight edges on here. And then I'm gonna put that one this way. And you can put your business card in here, you can put you know, your price tag, whatever you want in here. So I have that on the back and then I have this strip up here. I'm just gonna peel this strip really quick. And when I push it down, I like to get some of the air out as well. So I'm pushing away. So you have the back here and then you have the beautiful decal on the front. You can put your little price tag on the side here or you can put it even on the paper here, but that is how I finish it. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish these all up. It's the same process, it's all that you have to do. So I have all these here. Here's the other two, the yellow one and then the other um, holographic one. I really love how these turned out. So all my supplies are in the description below in case you're interested in any of them. Ask me any questions. I'm an open book. I'm I'm happy to help you with anything. I do actually have an ebook for sale that tells you all this information like where to sell, how to sell, sell how to get in the stores, um, all that kind of stuff that you need. Um, so if you're interested, I'll leave that in the description below. You can get that on my website, iCreateCrafts.com. Um, and then all the proceeds just go to my YouTube channel for me to keep doing videos. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and share with your friends. You know, help, help me out a little bit. Um, share the channel with your friends if you really like this video, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Happy crafting, everyone.